What's going on everybody? It's Matt with American Ford WD. Hope you're having an awesome day. Deuce 2.0. Hello. And we've got Jessica. What's going on? Alright, so news. News number one. There's a lot different, isn't it? The Comanche is on its own weight. And uh, a lot got done. Not a whole lot, not as much as I would want, but it is on its own weight. Everything is loose as hell. Uh, nothing is bolted up. But, uh, but yeah. So, oh yeah, I forgot to put that shock on the lower tab, but that's okay. I can just put that shock right on there. Anywho. So, Comanche has made a lot of progress. We had to stop for about two weeks uh, to get our new hire uh, situated in the shop. But I was able to get back on it, and so now she's sitting on its own weight. She's looking good. So, things we've done. Uh, eBay hood louvers. We've got the Novak uh, LS engine mounts in. We've got... A Durango 99 Durango steering box with BK Fab custom steering. We have stabilizer. We have BK Fab's three link installed, ready to go. Rubicon Express, shocks and springs, anti rock, and of course the Gladiator axles with the Dana heavy duty 44 front and rear covers. We've also done some interior work. <clears throat> The interior is almost ready to start putting back together. Ta-da! Really proud of this. Um, this was half-assed, but actually it, it came out really good. Um, we did, we pretty much, instead of doing a full uh, tub, we could not find a tub. So we had to just patch um, the rust. So we did patchwork. I've already uh, sprayed over it, so you can kind of see some of the patchwork it's been welded so a lot of people what they'll do is they'll cut like a patch and then they'll spot weld weld or tack 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 and then sealer and everything else well these unibodies like to flex a whole lot so when we did these patches we actually welded them all the way across that way it's all connected it's gonna be strong uh sealed it painted it rust prevented it or we did the rust um, stop, stop rust, painted it, sealed it, painted it again. Then we did um, some sound deadening mat and some heat mat, and then we painted it again and sealed it again. So this thing could like float. It's so sealed up. But, um, and, and it's, of course, you can't see it because it's all, the patchwork is all under the sound deadening. But uh, we had to do a lot of it. Um, this panel is all brand new. This panel's brand new. This panel's brand new. Um, that panel's new. That panel, like from there to there, is new. Um, we had to do this whole side panel of the tunnel. This right here is all brand new. Um, and then I had to do some, some work back here. That was new. Here, let me go over and show you that tunnel because that was tough. That was a tough one. Yeah, so pretty much everything under this is brand new. So it was a bear, but we got it done and I think it looks really good. So we can actually start putting some interior in this thing. We got a little light here so we can see what we're doing. But interior is ready to rock. Um, hit up the junkyard again and got some more stuff for it. Um, this is some of the tub material we used. So we've got little doodads you need and uh, interior pieces, grill pieces, and all sorts of other stuff that we're gonna be putting in here. Um, this door internally is really rusty. So I did not notice that. I don't know how I didn't notice it, but I noticed it and I was like, yeah, that's not gonna fly. So weirdly enough, the door, the Cherokee we got that door off of at the junkyard <laughs> still had the other door. <laughs> so it's over there. And uh, we're gonna put that behind Vince, so we're gonna put that on uh, at some point. But yeah, lot to, 
a lot different than when you guys last saw it. She's actually holding her own. We got the frame stiffeners, both sides done, both middle stiffeners done. We've got, we still have to do the back stiffeners, but for now it's fine. You can obviously see that. So all that's got done. It's looking good. We still have to attach it from this stiffener to this stiffener on both sides. Why that's not attached, you know, like why that couldn't have been made better, I'm not sure. But anywho, we're gonna have to do that at some point. But as of right now, she's looking really, really good and progress is being made. Anywho, the parking lot has exploded. Uh, or just threw up everywhere with customers. Um, after the Jeep invasion, everybody just wanted their stuff put on. So we have, uh, we have more customers than we know what to do with. So, uh, and everybody's getting all sorts of everything. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's rocking and rolling. Uh, new stuff as well. Karen had a little makeover because it was just that time. So what we did was we took off the factory uh, sway bar disconnect because it was a piece of crap and we put on the anti-rock and we put on these big old 37s. Jessica was finally ready for 37s. So we put those on with some Dirty Life wheels and a negative 38 offset so it pokes out. So Karen is looking more or less back to her usual self, usual badassness. So that was cool. Oh boy. It's, we got transfer case, slip yoke eliminators, wheels and tires for the old Land Cruiser. Looking good from Raceline and Mickey Thompson. Um, we've got, uh, he just bought it, so wants to know, make sure it's all good to go, but gorgeous truck. Um, really gorgeous truck. Love it. Um, shifter issue, rear bumper, bunch of maintenance stuff. Uh, ABS module, TCM module for some god awful reason. The silver one, we did a bunch of crap to it. We did tires, front drive shaft, alternator, um, shocks all the way around. Got this guy looking much better. Took off some lights he had. He's He just bought this, so um, did some diff service, um, axle seals, and uh, we also changed out these. Uh, a lot of people get these rear bumpers with these tire, swing out tire carriers. Uh, don't do that. They're really just pieces of crap. So he had one of these guys, but it was like bent and tore up. So we took that off and we put on this rough country heavy duty tire carrier from the hinge. So works out a lot, lot better. Don't buy bumpers with tire carriers on. They're just junk. Every one of them. Done. Darius's. Um, Chris did this JK with the Rancho 4 inch crawler system. I absolutely love this kit. If you're looking for a lift kit, and it's a 4 inch by the way, so let me step back. It's a 4 inch by the way. Um, if you're looking for a lift kit, this kit is awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we did that. <clears throat> It's looking fresh because of all new stuff. And then uh, some sort of weird problem. Remember the white uh, ZJ? Well, it's back. Uh, we're going to be doing bumpers now. Um, so it finally got done. I didn't show you the finished product, but tires, lift kit, bunch of maintenance stuff, long arm, uh, hood louvers, um, look at the gears some other stuff but uh but yeah steering we did the wj knuckle swap as you can see one ton steering so hell yeah so now she's getting bumpers gonna let make her look even better got the same hood louvers i got i think they turned out pretty good uh, of course i'm gonna paint mine but i think they turned out pretty good so i bought some for the comanche we got a rear bumper going on Alini's. Um, she's going to get like super high clearance rear bumper. It's going to be awesome. Um, but yeah, maintenance stuff, just normal maintenance. 
Um, oh, ooh, ooh. Uh, so Vince, one of our very good friends, uh, he just got back from California. And uh, right before he went to California, he went with us to Stony Lonesome and had a little accident. So everybody remembers the XJ project that we did um, a few months ago. Well, it got tipped over, so um, it's got a little damage on it. Um, he replaced this fender. This fender was trash, but he got here. This whole fender was trash. Obviously, you can see all the scratches. Doors kind of caved in a little bit. Um, but everybody was okay, and everybody everybody was all right. So luckily, luckily. So uh, we got him flipped over, and... Uh, we got him on the road, so he went to California, had a great time, got to do the Rubicon Trail and all that fun jazz. So now we're coming back in here because we have to do some some maintenance to it. And then uh, also me and him are gonna hit up the junkyard, see if we can't find a door and a hatch. So if we can, awesome. But anywho, uh, let's go back in here. News, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week, um, Vince, say hi, Vince. Hi. Um, not yet. Stand by you. Vince will be uh, helping us around the shop. He will be doing a little bit of my job, answering the phones, writing you up, anything like that. So uh, if he messes up, make sure you scream and yell at him. <laughs> um, also, now back to you. Hats. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. Hats. I have seven left. They're $15 a piece. What I don't sell, September the 19th is when we have date night, Monday night, 6.30 to 8.30 at the Monkey Town Brewery on Ashland Terrace Road. Uh, I will bring what I have left over and if people want to buy them then, that'd be great. If you want to come by the shop, this is where they are. I'm not going to send them through the mail. I'm not going to bring them to you. They're here. Come again. Thank you.